this is Seymour Rocks uh, reporting from Down Under. I just want to bring you uh, some material uh, from Chinese sources. Um, I'm watching it sort of quite uh, closely uh, and it can give a real uh, insight um, into what's happening with the American election, although um, for obvious reasons uh, the uh, uh, Chinese living abroad, and especially the, and, and and the Taiwanese and Hong Kong people um, are probably biased um, towards uh, towards Trump. But anyway, I just want to uh, bring this to your attention because it might just uh, bring some greater understanding for those people that haven't made up their mind already about things.其实过去这个三十年为什么很尴尬特朗普以前对华尔街有过一次软性违约所以双方有矛盾所以这个时候我们以恰当的方式进行一定的这样一个表达一个善意In my search on Twitter, uh, I found a link to this article um, from the Taiwanese media, um, which piqued my interest, and uh, I immediately went to uh, Google Translate and had it translated into English, and indeed it, uh, it brings out uh, some of the material that have been um, made available from the Miles School crowd. Um, so just have a look at this. Okay, I think it's interesting to uh, see what uh, the Chinese media are saying. And I'm not talking about the mainland Chinese uh, propaganda media. I'm talking here, this is an article from Taiwan. Um, and the headline, U.S. election continues to have twists and turns. Putin has yet to admit that Biden has won the election and China has forged a large number of American votes. So in response to the Wuhan epidemic, the United States used a large number of mail-in ballots this year, sending a total of 122 million blank ballots before the election. But now it has been revealed that a large number of forged Blank ballots in the U.S. general election have been revealed in Guangzhou, China. So I'll just uh, go down here. It talks about Putin, uh, and it talks about the general accusations. Um, and of course, this is all uh, machine translation, so it could be a lot of gobbledygook. But this is what I wanted to get to, um, is this.
boss of an underground factory pointed out that someone had ordered it before, but he also bluntly said that it is impossible to forge mint, uh, metal patterns and counterfeiting. So this is what I wanted to uh, share with you. Uh, it's rumored that China, China forged votes, videos and dialogues flow out. As the US election was affected by the epidemic, more than 120 million blank ballots were mailed in advance. According to a source, an underground factory in Guangzhou, China, which usually specializes in forging invoices and falsifying accounts, has forged a large number of blank American ballots since July, with a monthly output of 500,000. Judging from the screenshots of the conversation, the boss not only said, we have the original version of this version, we have ordered it before. There is still a lot of this in infantry and because the ballots are different in each state in the United States, the underground factory can provide the original mold file of Mississippi, Florida, New Carolina and emphasize that this is provided by the previous customer and there are other states uh, that can also do the ballots, not only these three states. It is worth noting that the boss of the underground factory actually stated that the metal patterns and anti-counterfeiting of the real ballots cannot be forged yet, but previously unknown people have ordered a large number of them. And the boss also said, the amount is not a problem. The main thing is your money in place that amount is not a problem. As for the person who ordered previously, the boss only pointed out roughly that the order was sent from Beijing and that the other party requested that the finished product be sent to Zhuhai first and then exported in batches to Canada, Mexico and other places under the names of medical supplies, personal letters and trade. 那个量不是问题主要是那个只要你的那个钱到位那个量不是问题都可以的 然后到时候你们这边发物流的话怎么发那个跟上次一样啊。OK, OK, 好好好, 好我知道了。你再把二维码发我一遍,谢谢。anti-counterfeiting design in the underground factory in Guangdong, they can only be said to be semi-finished articles, but the other party did not directly ship these ballots to the United States, but to Mexico and Canada first. It is to be finished locally. If these blank ballots are finally processed and cannot even be distinguished by a machine, of course, they can affect the election to a large, ex a certain extent. But the source said the CCP does not want to influence the election, but it wants to sabotage the election. It is said that these blank ballots may have use. Uh, first, bring the election results closer. This can mean that the polls look inaccurate, making American democracy that believes in the polls just blind. Second, bringing the election results closer can also intensify conflicts and confrontations. 
Second, create disputes over invoicing. If these blank ballots are used to vote, it will definitely cause a headache for the election agencies of all states in the United States. And even if these blank ballots are not cast with the current turmoil, it pile, if piles are discovered, it is enough to cause disputes. In fact, US President Trump claimed in a tweet that the governor of California sent a blank ballot paper to everyone in the state, no matter who it was, many of whom never wanted to vote, would not vote, or did not know what to vote for, who will therefore cause election manipulation. Although Trump's words may not be fully believed, it is enough to show that even a blank ballot is enough to cause disputes. In addition, the sources have repeatedly emphasized in their speech that they support the Chinese pro-democracy movement and do not want to see the democratic system being desecrated, so they managed to spread the message. The CCP has repeatedly discredited democracy and made the Chinese people hate democracy. This is now the biggest obstacle to the Chinese democracy movement. He has repeatedly clarified that he has no opinion on Trump or Biden. As long as they're democratically elected, I support it. Three generations of the Chinese Communist Party's red confirms the China's selection. Regarding the fact that China forged a large number of blank ballots in the US election after citizen journalists tossing an introduction, the third generation of the Chinese Communist Party named Yi Chi Wei confirmed that this happened and pointed out that a large number of fake driver's license and fake drivers from China were seized throughout the United States uh, this year. The certificate is also related to this incident. Yi Chi Wei quoted a report from Voice of America and pointed out that as of August the 10th, US enforce law enforcement authorities had intercepted 54,718 fake identity documents. According to Yi Chi Wei's research and judgment, quote, because every blank ballot must be matched to an individual's identity in order to vote, there are now some forged ballots and a large number of forged documents. The customers behind it are obviously to facilitate the second vote in the local area, change, and then intervene in the US elections. Yi Chi Wei introduced himself and stated that he is a descendant of the Manchu Jinghuang banner. His grandfather is a 63-year-old former CCP senior cater who was uh, awarded the Republic Founder Medal and recorded in history by former CCP Prime Minister Zhou Enlai. So he can say that it was the three generations of red. But in 2016, his father was implicated in Yi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign and died after being imprisoned. According to information, Yi Chi Wei's mother is still working in the Taiwan Affairs Officer of the State Council. But why he would dare to come forward to confirm China's involvement in the uh, US election is because this matter is not a big secret for China. Chen Ming Tong, China's media selection is in fact generally recognized by the international community. In fact, it is not the first time that China has intervened in local elections in various countries. This year, Taiwan also holds a presidential election. The National Security Council held a meeting on September the 23rd last year and put forward a, a a project report on China's elevated threat to Taiwan and a comprehensive analysis of the election, stating that China is intervening in 2020 Taiwan in every possible way, general election. The MAC chairman Chen Ming Tong also reported to the legislative yuan on December the 4th last year that the 
Chinese Communist Party uses various ways to influence elections in democratic countries and also intervened in the normal operation of Taiwan's democratic mechanisms. This is a fact generally recognized and recognized by the international community. It also broke out in April this year that China was involved in the general election of South Korea. And here's some additional um, material that I've been able to glean from, uh, from Twitter um, that complements the, the article.